Guys, if you're getting a tattoo in French, you better make sure that a native that you trust is telling you if it's actually correct or not. Because I've had several students come up to me with a cool tattoo in French that was either a spelling mistake, a word that didn't exist, or some kind of huge typo that made it be something else. In today's video, I'm gonna point out five different mistakes you're definitely gonna to wanna to avoid in French, including that one. Salut, my name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Beltier Academy. Let's dive right in. Okay, listen to the song. means in, right? Well, yes, it can mean in. However, you wouldn't say en mes rêves, you'd say dans mes rêves to mean in my dreams. So, hey, you're a musician, that's great. Compose a song in French, go for it. I encourage it. However, make sure that you have somebody check it if you're thinking of performing it because you don't want to have a song out there with a huge mistake that just makes you look not as good, if you know what I mean. So definitely first thing, if you're composing a song, have somebody check it for you after you've written it. Second thing, I mentioned at the beginning, tattoos. Geez, I've had quite a few students when I taught university level, even my students at Beltier Academy ask me, hey, is this tattoo right? Or I'm thinking of getting a tattoo, would this make sense? That's the second question, is the one you're needing to ask natives that you trust. I had a student who loves her cat, her female cat, so of course she would wanted to write shut on her arm as a tattoo well you know what shut also can mean shut can mean pussy so maybe you would want to rethink that before having that on your arm for possibly a lifetime so if you are getting a tattoo awesome i love tattoos too but i would highly recommend that you would have a friend that is french speaking that knows the language and that certainly knows how to spell correctly check that for you beforehand. Third thing is professional letters. If you're writing a professional letter, you don't want it to be riddled with the mistakes. By the way, check out this video on how to write a professional letter in French. You may look up a template, which we call modèle, or exemple, an example of a professional letter that you could write. That may be a good idea to do a Google search on the Google France, the French Google, to find an example of some type of professional letter, whether it's a cover letter, une lettre de motivation, uh, a resume, a CV that's going to have a different format than in English, or possibly a letter that you're writing for some type of administration or whatnot. Make sure that that letter is following the guidelines of a professional letter that is French. I've received resume upon resume and cover letters that were for a French teaching position, but they were riddled with mistakes in French, not just in typos or possibly something that was forgotten, but also in terms of the structure of the sentence, punctuation, and the format that is very different in French than in, in English or in other languages. So have a professional check it out or follow a template, easy thing to do, and replace it with the words that you need to use to express what you need to express in that letter. So here are two other mistakes that can really damage your conversation. Make sure that you're subscribed to be notified of our next French lesson you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So two mistakes you're gonna to wanna to avoid in conversation. The first one is the word order, very common, but you wanna make sure that you learn the proper word order in French so that you're not possibly saying something that doesn't make sense or that may be misunderstood or said in a context that doesn't exist for what you're trying to convey. For instance, that could be with the noun and adjective placement in a sentence or other things. As I also say, and I mentioned this in a recent Instagram post, is that you want to make sure that you translate, if you're translating, segment by segment instead of sentence by sentence. The segments will help you be able to reorganize the word order if need be, like in the word, you know, a noun adjective placement. Lastly, you want to learn the different meanings of a word. A word can definitely mean different things, and so when you're using it, make sure that you're using it to convey what you are trying to express. For instance, the word crever, crever can mean to pop, like crever un pneu, to pop a tire. But crever can also mean crever as in dead. 
il a crevé, il a crevé, like, he died, he's flat out, boom. Ou, or, je suis crevé, I am tired. So, crevé technically can mean to pop, to die, or to be tired. You would want to know which one you're trying to use and how to use it, because you notice that I used one with être, one with avoir, and to know what you're trying to actually say. So if you don't know the many meanings in a word, you might want to explore them, or you can always look up a dictionary. I'm linking one of my favorite dictionaries that I use constantly. Even if I am already bilingual, it's good to make sure that you have the proper definition when you're using a word or find an equivalent to possibly a different word that may be a synonym that may embellish what you're trying to say. Same with grossesse, another word kind of funny. Grossesse could mean being pregnant, and expecting, but grossesse could also signify the thickness of something, like grossesse de... voila. So make sure you use that word accurately. Again, a good reason to check in a dictionary or to just learn the different definitions. You can even use a brainstorming chart like this one that I provide my students with, with the word and the different ways that it's used. So if you got value out of this video, you're, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. What do you want to learn in French? And last thing, are you following our adventures on Instagram as we explore different parts in France? We're studying the history, the culture. I'm showing you life there. So make sure that you are following us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, so that you don't miss any part of our adventure and you can live it with us. A bientôt tout le monde.